What's up some fans around the world and welcome back to another video. Today is part 2 of the turbo build. So we will see how far we will come in this episode. But we have a lot of stuff to do right now. So let me show you around what we are working with today. So since last video I have exchanged the fans on the radiator. So they are a lot thinner right now. So hopefully it will not interfere. These fans are from Biltema, Swedish Fast and the Furious shop. I think this will do pretty good because I have heard some other people using them on some high power applications. So they should be really good. We have got an awesome package from my buddies at DO88 with some goodies that will help the build forward so this is for the intake so we're gonna cut this off quite a bit but it's a 90 degree which will be really nice it's a 3 inch intake on this turbo we're gonna install all the lines and we're gonna continue to weld on the downpipe make that or finish that off and we're going to install a wideband lambda and I think we're gonna place it some around here will sit pretty good because here comes the block and the oil pan so so it doesn't interfere too much we will start it right here so I have got a nice package from streetperformance.se in Sweden with a AEM wideband lambda gauge so this will be installed and we have some future improvements as well a 340 liter per hour fuel pump for E85 and this amazing SMP 846 cc injectors and this should be so much better than the decas that I'm running right now but more on this later on so we will do videos on all of this but today I think we will touch up on this when we install the O2 sensor at least on the downpipe but we are going to start with the exhaust manifold it has been solid welded so we're going to clean up some residue right here to make it flow properly. But amazingly done and thanks a lot Thomas for the help. Now I got a complete exhaust manifold. So I'm going to clean this up a bit also in the channels right here. So we will have the best flow possible. And we will wrap it with some exhaust wrap and uh, yeah continue to install the turbo Exhaust wrap is done, so now it's time to start fitting all these steel braided lines. 
and it's not that hard actually. The thin one is for the oil feed and the other two are for the water. So this goes to the water pump and this goes up to the block. So if you have the original turbo you can just have a look at what side the pipes are pointing and try to copy it to this one. The hard part when it comes to this like GT turbos and when you're running a bigger exhaust manifold is that you move the turbo so the oil feed back to the block will get out of line a little bit and in the kit this one is provided so it will fit like this but it will still be quite a bit to the block so I'm going to reuse the OEM one we will see how much of it I need to reuse and then I ordered a special hose from DO88 I don't know how good this will handle oil over the years but it's just to make the the oil pour back in the block again so this is not like pressurized or anything so I think it will work quite good so this fits over here and this is the correct diameter for this piping right here I have seen there are some couplings on eBay that you can buy where the, it is like a steel braided line in between so that will be the, the best choice but now we don't have anything else so we will go with this so I'm gonna start to mark this up and you will see it when it's in the car again and hopefully everything fits together and one more thing when it comes to these banjo couplings of course all the big ones are for the water and the big with the one with the big hole is for the water as well and the thin one with the restricted hole is for the oil so provided in the kit for the turbo otherwise it's a restrictor so we don't have to use that right now because the restriction is in this guy light right here so that would be really good and make sure you tighten this down super super snug because I have done this once before on a TD04 turbo and it had it was really easy that it was leaking so tighten it down really really good so after some work I finally managed to get everything in and it looks awesome the steel braided lines was long enough to fit so now everything is installed This looks really really good and it sits as tight to the block as possible so I don't think it will interfere at all with the fans right now and I have tried a little bit with uh, the silicon hose you can see the difference right here the 3 inch intake versus the stock which is like nothing at all it's like a little straw compared to this one So next up will be the downpipe and the wideband lambda sub.
so the next step would be to finish off the downpipe so I have tack welded the V-band flange and I have tightened this down as it should sit and underneath as well and I have marked out up here where I want the O2 sensor for the wideband lambda to sit because it shouldn't sit close to the turbo and not close to the catalytic converter either so we will set it in between so it will not interfere with the like oil pan or the block a little bit out from the engine but still some clearance so I think it will be really good down here so now I'm gonna remove this with just removing the bolts and I will let the V-band flange sit tight so the flanges don't get like wrapped when or warped when we are welding everything because that it's very easy to do So the downpipe is wrapped up and we got the first O2 sensor lambda sound installed. Then we have the wideband lambda and then we have the second lambda. So a lot of lambdas right here but this is good because this will probably be okay to drive through the Swedish inspection with. This is what you need to have to pass the inspection so they are looking for the sounds. So I have thought about running a catless downpipe but to start with we're gonna keep the cat because I'm not so young any longer so I wanna do this build make sure everything works and maybe this set up right here could pass inspection next year also so so down pipe is in everything connected all the o2 sensors except the wideband lambda but we will take care of that later i think it came out really good you can see it, the wideband lambda sits freely turbo looking real nice and we have some play this doesn't move at all so it's no worries it it was actually tighter before so this is what it looks like with a three and a half inch downpipe and I would say this is probably like the max you can go should not go any bigger and this exhaust manifold, the flange was actually bigger, so the collector is enormous for this flange. 
so I have grinded it in but this is going to flow so well I hope this works out the way I have planned it looks really really good at least so so that's it for today guys I hope you enjoyed the video in the next video we will make the intake pipe a proper one so it's going to be a 3 3 inch intake pipe all the way down to the turbo which is going to be awesome then we're going to reinstall the radiator and the intercooler hook everything up, pour in some oil and hopefully we get a first start then there's a lot of other stuff that needs to be done connect the wideband lambda install some new injectors yeah we got tons of work ahead of us so if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, it means a lot to me. Give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye!